Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, we recently had two fights. Joshua Clotty versus Anthony Mundane. And Miguel Cotto versus Sergio Martinez, where the losers in those fights, uh, both of whom were favored to win those fights, in post-fight interviews, said, I got caught early. I never was able to get my game together after that. I just got caught. That happens in boxing. Sometimes the better fighter Right, and I'm not necessarily saying that Mundine is intrinsically better than Clotty or that Sergio Martinez is intrinsically better than Miguel Cotto. But sometimes a better fighter goes out there and early in fights, especially when that fighter is a technician, trying to figure out angles, trying to read an opponent. Right? The early rounds are the dangerous ones. Because a technician sometimes will misjudge an angle due to lack of familiarity. The kind of familiarity that comes later in the fight will get hurt and will never recover. Now you have a fight here that's coming up for the super featherweight title between champion Argentes Mendez and challenger Rances Bartholomew. Now they fought before. The fight was ultimately declared a no contest because... Mendez got hit after the bell and dropped, right? Here's what you need to know. In the first fight, Mendez, who is the tighter puncher, he is the guy who has the better angles, quite frankly, right? Is the more, you know, uh, quicker fighter in terms of being able to go from zero to 60 and land punches, right? He was fighting Rances Bartholomew, who's the heavier puncher. But to get that leverage, Bartholomew has to widen the punch. Well, Bartholomew was throwing unorthodox wide punches. And Mendez never figured out Bartholomew's left hand. Right? That left hand dropped him. Right? First, it hurts him in the first round. You see he's clearly hurt in the first round by the left hand. He does a little dance after getting hit with it. Then in the second round, he gets hit again with the left hand. He goes down. This is before the illegal knockdown that took place at the end of the round. In the rematch, the gamblers, in my opinion, are overemphasizing the first fight. To me, that first fight was simply a superior fighter getting caught early by a guy who doesn't have a lot of cards in his deck. Bartholomew has a great left hand. I didn't see a lot of a right hand. I didn't see the kind of hand speed or the kind of angles that, in my opinion, should give the superior technician on Hentes Mendez problems if the fight makes it out of the early rounds. But yet, Mendez, who is the champion, and keep in mind, he's a guy who has twice beaten Martin Honorario, very tough opponent. You're getting Mendez as an underdog in this fight. In fact, the casino is giving you a plus 220 on a fighter I feel is technically superior to puncher Rances Bartholomew. The bet I'm recommending here is that you take what the casino gives you. Take the underdog. Take Argentes Mendez at plus 220. When's the last time you were able to get a champion at plus 220? But I would hedge the play with Bartholomew by KO. The odds allow it since you're getting better than 2-1 to one on the champion. In my opinion, Bartholomew, and I know he won the first round in the first fight, Right? But in my opinion, once Mendez figures out the angles, I see no way that Rances Bartholomew can win by decision. Right? But understand the risk involved. If you take my advice and if you take Mendez, 
at a plus 220 to win the fight and hedge it with Bartholomew by KO, then if Bartholomew wins the fight by decision, you lose it all. That's the risk I'm going to take. Let me just point out, both of these guys are tough body punchers, but Mendez's body shots get there faster, right? Mendez is the guy who's making adjustments, right? Bartholomew is the guy with the looping, clubbing left hand, right? It's his lead hand. He also is able to throw it to the body. Now, John David Jackson, an excellent trainer, the trainer too, Light heavyweight champion Sergei Kovalev is actually in Mendez's corner. And I'm convinced once Mendez looks at the film and realizes that he was being haunted by Bartholomew's left, he's going to make the adjustments so that those looping punches don't land. Understand, unorthodox fighters are hard to duplicate in training. Those are the fighters who give you the biggest trouble early in bouts. The more you see an unorthodox fighter, the more you get acclimated to him, the more you can make the adjustments. I don't think Bartholomew can throw a lot of crisp, straight punches. I know Mendez can. I like Mendez at plus 220 hedged with Bartholomew by KO. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.